Let's look at how to do names and values from a combo box. So I'm going to create a new project. We'll call this one. Let's do a Windows Forms application. And we will call this one States. So allow you to choose a state by name and then get the state code. All right. So we now have a form and we're going to go ahead and add a data source. So I'm going to have a data source already. I have a table that has states in it and I will use that table. So right here, states. And it has both a state code and a state name. Now, once I have that, I can go over to my data source and I can display or change how it displays. So I'm going to change this one, first of all, to details view. And then what I want to drag out there is the state name, but I don't want it to be like this. I want to actually have it display as a combo box. So I'll click on that arrow, click on the combo box. And now I drag it out right here. I'm going to delete this control at the top because I don't want that. All right. So now I have this state name. I can delete this label because I don't need that. Okay. So I've got the state name thing and I want to be able to see the state name. So let's go ahead and shrink this a little bit, make it a little smaller. All right. And we're going to go ahead and add an extra button right here. So I have my toolbar up and I will drag a button out to here and you can label your button if you want. Um, I'll just keep it as button. Okay. So now I click on this state and I click on this use data bound items checkbox and I can change my source. So I know what my store source was. It's my table there. And I want to have the display member be the one that is shown. So when I look at it, I want to see the state name, but the value, I want it to be the state code. And you can set your selected value if you want, if you want to have a default state display. I'm just going to have Alaska, the default display, shrink that again. And now I've got my box ready to go. Now I just want to click on the button, double click that, and it'll take me into some place where I can do some code. Now we don't remember what the name of the, we don't know what the name of the state box is, the combo box. So I'll click on this thing right here and I will scroll down for a little bit and I will find it. And it says that it is state name combo box as the name of my component there. And I go back to this and I'm going to add some code in here. So when you click this button, I want to get two strings. So the first string is whatever is displayed. So I'll call that display and it's going to be this dot state name combo box. And I wanted to get the text because that's what's being displayed. The next one, I want to get the value. So string value and that is going to be this state name combo box dot and um, whatever value is selected is what I want. So I'll do selected value value and that is an object. So I kind of want to do a two string two string and it's a function or method. So I click that. And now I want to display a, display a message box. So do message box show, and I want to have some text. So I'm going to have it tell you my display equals, and then some value. So that will be my display. And then I want to have on the second line my value. So I'll put a new line value equals and I'll have this be my value. All right. So now the button should trigger a message box to display. So I go ahead and save that and I will start it up. Let's see what happens. So it creates this little thing right here. I can do the drag down and I can pick uh, 
Oregon and click button and it says displays Oregon values OR. So I can use that to retrieve the data and that's how you do it.